Hey everyone, it's Sarah Jane with Chic on the Cheap, and today I'm gonna share with you how I put together my Christmas coffee and hot chocolate bar. It turned out so cute, and hopefully this video will inspire and give you some ideas as you make your own, or at least get you into the holiday spirit. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I'm decorating is to analyze the space I'm working with and I have this cool little spot in the entryway of my apartment where I'm going to build the bar. So basically this area is the first thing you see when you walk in. Next, I'm gonna take four of these floral stems from Target. These were $5 a piece and use them to create a garland. If you've never made a garland out of floral stems before, it's really easy to do. You can just zip tie the pieces together, but because I am essentially hanging these off of a ledge, I'm using some small command hooks. These hooks are the perfect size to hold the stems in place and they are also clear so they blend in and are hard to see. And then to fill that gap in the middle, I'm just using a pre-made bow and I actually used some Dollar Tree balloon glue or a glue dot to attach the bow to the ledge. Next to decorate the space behind the garland, I took this $5 riser from the Target dollar spot and then put this sign from Hobby Lobby on top of it. Now you may notice there is a jar of marbles behind the sign and that just allows me to stand it up like this and then I'm just going to pull the riser as close as I can to the edge so it's very visible and I love how this looks. Next, I'm going to make another garland with these gingerbread ornaments that I got from Walmart this year. They were $2.48 a piece. I think they are so cute and I'm just going to give them a quick makeover using these iridescent pom-poms. And all I'm doing is cutting off the smaller original buttons and replacing them with the iridescent ones. I love a little sparkle at Christmas time and while this might not be a huge difference, I do think it looks so much better and a lot more fun. And here's all five once I finish those. Then really all I did was hang up some yarn and I taped the gingerbread men in place. I used packing tape and it works really well for this. And to fill the gaps, I took some of the larger iridescent pom-poms and glued those together along the yarn. And now that we have some of our decorations in place, it's time to start setting up the most important thing when it comes to a coffee bar and that is the coffee maker. This is just a Keurig. I got it a couple of years ago. I really love it. And then I have this K-cup spinner that makes it so easy to select the kind of beverage you want. And one thing I wanted to say is don't be afraid to spray paint items that you already have in your home instead of going out and buying new things that match the look you're going for. For instance, I knew I wanted to use a lot of white in this Christmas bar. So I spray painted all of the risers that I'm using white and that way they all match and go together a lot nicer. And the first riser is going underneath the Keurig just to give it some height. And then the other riser is going in the corner. And what I did with that is I took a Dollar Tree picture frame and put a printable that I found from Etsy inside of it. I just printed it off on regular computer paper and placed it inside, but I'll be sure to have the printable linked down in the description box below, along with everything else I used in this video. Next, I took two of these glass candle holders and a set of printable labels that I also found on Etsy. And once again, I printed them off on regular computer paper and I used some packing tape to attach the labels to the candle holders. I put some brown paper shred inside of both of the candle holders and some of these adorable gingerbread cookies that I did get from Etsy. Etsy has a lot of really nice Christmas cookies and I really like that these are individually sealed. Now this video is not sponsored by Etsy in any way, but I do love shopping on there and supporting small businesses. And then I added some of these super cute marshmallow cocoa toppers that look like snowmen and these are from Target. And I'm just going to place the mug toppers and the cookies in front of the printable. And how cute is this light up gingerbread man? He is from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place him behind the printable. Next to finish off that section, I'm going to take some of these mini trees from Hobby Lobby and tie some red and white ribbon around the base to make them look a little more festive. And then I just added one of those to each side of the riser. If you want your coffee or hot chocolate bar to look extra Christmassy, definitely add some mini trees. And I really like these because they have a little glitter on them. 
All right, so now that that section is finished, we can move on to the other side of the copy maker and fill it up with some fun stuff. Starting with this riser, it's another item that I did spray paint white. And the first thing I put on it is my most favorite find of the year, this adorable gingerbread mug. I found this at TJ Maxx. It was $5.99, but then I liked it so much, I bought another off of Macari. And if you haven't heard of that, it's an online marketplace where people can buy and sell items. And typically you're paying a lot more for for the items, but it does come in handy for items like this that are hard to find. And what I'm doing here is filling the mugs with some stir sticks from Target. And next to the mugs, I'm going to put some of these paper cups from the Target dollar spot in case anyone wants to take a drink with them. Now to finish the bottom row of the riser, I grabbed these jars, they're from Amazon and some more of the printable labels. And once again, using some packing tape, I attached the labels to the jars. It's just a less expensive way to create your labels. And I think it looks just as good as if you were to use sticker paper. Next, it was time to fill up the jars and I put a mixture of different sprinkles in this one. I think it looks really good layered like that. And I put some dark chocolate drops in this one and Dollar Tree sells these soft peppermint sticks that are really easy to break down into a powder using a blender. So I like doing that. And finally, the mini marshmallows because I don't think any hot chocolate bar is complete without them. And then once all of the jars were filled, I placed them on the bottom row of the riser. Next, I added two more of the mini trees to fill in the gaps next to the riser. And then I grabbed these two candle holders in different heights and placed them behind the riser. And then on top, I added two of these glitter globe trees. They are so pretty. If you've never had a glitter globe item in your Christmas decor, I definitely recommend one. They always look so magical, especially at night. And here's how this corner turned out. And finally, to finish things off, I added this Santa mug from Target along with some tinsel and some candy canes. And I am just so in love with everything about this coffee and hot chocolate bar. All right, guys, well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you get ideas and inspiration for your setup. I had so much fun sharing this with you, and until my next video, I'll see you then.